So let me declare an array. So I can instantiate at the array with a particular number of elements. So in this case, I am hard coding the elements. Okay, so just some random number of elements. So now A is considered as an array which is having six elements altogether. Okay, so I can always get the number of elements available in array A by just writing A dot length. So we already know this. So if I execute this function, so I execute this, we know that we are getting six elements. Okay, now let us enhance this a bit. I would like to add a new function and I would like to call this one as easy one. Okay, and this is accepting three parameters V, I, A, R, Y. Okay, and all I am saying here is return v mod 2 equals 0, then return true or else return false. Okay, so here all I am saying is if I have a value in variable v, I am dividing it by 2. And if I get reminder, okay, yeah. So if the reminder is zero, then I am returning true, okay. If the reminder is not zero, I am returning false. So this part, this is the condition which gets evaluated, okay. If this evaluation is true, it returns true. If this evaluation is false, it returns false. Okay, so this is the statement. So this is very similar to something like this. If v mod this is going to be something like this. So this is the shortcut of the whole. Okay. So this is a function which is accepting three values V, I, A, R, Y. Okay. So inside this function currently I am using only V. You can see that I am not using I. I am not using A, R, Y. Okay, those are just left like that. Okay. Now, who is calling that function? We did not call that function yet. Okay. So, now what I am going to say here is alert A is the array and it has internally got a method called every. So, array is basically an object. So JavaScript treats array as an object. Every array by default will have a property called length. Similar to that, it has got another method called as every. Okay. So every is the method which accepts function as a parameter. Can you see that? So this is again the callback function. Okay. So what I am saying is, please execute the method every. Let it do its own process, whatever it is going to do. But once it has completed every, I want even is ever even to be getting executed. In simple words, for each and every element available in A, this method is even gets executed. This is the shortest way. So, 
whenever the every is getting executed it is going to send each and every particular value available in a to easy one in another simple word if i have six elements this every method is responsible to execute is even method for six number of times and again whenever this particular callback function is getting executed imagine it is for the first element 2 so how does this function get executed so every statement first of all gets the value 2 from array a it is trying to execute is even v will be containing the value 2 which is nothing but the element value itself i is going to have the index the current index which is zeroth element so i will be zero and you have the whole axis of array 2 this a will be available here so in this function is even you have everything the current value you are going to evaluate the value related position in this array all of the three will be available you have the array you have the position currently you are evaluating and you are having the value which is currently being evaluated so similarly if i am if every is going to execute i mean is even function for the second element 26 then the value of v will be 26 value of i will be 1 as because the index starts from 0 and array will be still all the elements okay so this will be always the same array this will not be changed as long as this is getting executed okay it is just only for your convenience if you want to make use of these two in your function you can use them okay if you don't want to access them it is your wish Exactly. Whatever the call fun calling function, or uh, sorry, the callback function you are going to send here is supposed to have all the three parameters as part of the syntax. If it doesn't have it, then probably not every browser can understand it. So, if we can summarize all together, every is the method which accepts a callback function with at least three parameters. The first parameter is going to be the value. the second parameter is going to be the position the third value is going to be the array itself okay and that callback function is going to be executed for each and every element available in the array a okay but finally what does every return we did not say what exactly every returns every will be expecting this callback method to always return true for each and every element available in a as long as this particular callback function returns true for every element in the array a then every will be returning true if at least one of those values is false then every will be returning false let us first execute this one so in this case now we got true this is the output okay so we got true as because this particular method is going to be executed for six times by passing all the six values so which means each of those values will be evaluated to true as all six are the trues every is returning true if i have something like this 7 if such is the case the remainder is not zero which means it is returning false if such is the case now every is having the first one as true second one as false this one true this one true this one true this one true you have five trues but one false and every returns false okay so this every is going to return either true or false it will be true if and only if this callback function is always returning true for every element available in the array so let us further simplify this one now i can directly provide the array itself okay and now we can say 
every that is possible okay so which means you are not using any variable here for the array you are saying that this array is directly getting executed using the method every having with this callback method and you can have the alert right away and once i execute this you are going to get false again let us simplify further so we already know about the anonymous functions right let us make use of that one so i want to have this so instead of easy one i want to have this whole function uh let me simplify all of this but let me remove this one okay and as it is going to be anonymous function i don't need this okay so now every is going to be executed using that okay and now i want to have a alert on top of that which is correct again so if i have all of those values which are even numbers then this alert is supposed to return true okay so now you can see the power of anonymous functions the callback functions and all of those being used along with the arrays